Hey guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. The news never stops and neither does WrestleMania. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest wrestling news stories and rumors you need to know, including more news on the fallout from Jeff Hardy's DUI arrest, Ronda Rousey and Natalya disagree about backstage morale in women's locker room, Sasha Banks' new look, and more. Fallout from Jeff Hardy DUI continues. More news concerning the fallout from Jeff Hardy's recent arrest for DUI, including AEW's reaction, Tony Khan's original plan to fire Jeff, details on Jeff's recent court hearing, and an upcoming event in Mexico that Jeff is still scheduled for. AEW suspends Jeff. All Elite Wrestling officially suspended Jeff on Tuesday, with AEW President Tony Khan tweeting the following statement. We were able to resume contact with Jeff Hardy this afternoon. AEW does not condone Jeff's alleged behavior. We've made it clear to Jeff that we'll assist him in getting treatment for substance abuse issues, which he has indicated that he's open to receiving. In the interim, he is suspended without pay, and he can only return to AEW upon successfully completing treatment and maintaining his sobriety. Khan also included a number for the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration National Helpline. The big question right now is whether Jeff will seek treatment. As the sportster's Jim Parsons noted, Jeff declined going into rehab when WWE told him it was accept treatment or be released from his contract. While Hardy is currently sitting out with a suspension, there is speculation that things could have been much worse for him. Tony Khan wanted to fire Jeff? Although AEW has suspended Jeff Hardy, there's a rumor making the rounds that AEW president Tony Khan originally wanted to fire Jeff. The rumor appears to have come from comments made by Brian Alvarez on Wrestling Observer Live. I think when this news first came out, there were not cooler heads, and then cooler heads prevailed, and then Tony decided, okay, well, you know, this is my idea, but obviously, you gotta run it by Jeff. You know, are you willing to consider rehab? Cause I think if Jeff said no, they'd just fire him. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but it seems to be something they discussed together. Given the bad press of Jeff's arrest, particularly in light of AEW hiring Jeff after WWE released him due to circumstances suggesting he was in no condition to perform at a live event, Khan wanting to can Hardy isn't out of the question. Nonetheless, Alvarez's I don't know for sure remark seems like a weak foundation for reporting Khan wanted to fire Jeff. On one hand, Khan probably wanted to give Jeff a chance to get help regardless of whether he returned to the ring. On the other hand, Khan may have been angry at Hardy letting him down after he brought him in to AEW. What do you think? Hardy's court appearance cancelled. More details have emerged on Jeff's arrest and his originally scheduled court appearance for 14th June. PW Insider is reporting that Jeff's court appearance was rescheduled and he will now appear on 5th July. Given the severity of the charges, it's possible Hardy's attorney wanted more time to prepare for Jeff's defense as Hardy faces imprisonment if he's found guilty on the felony charge. TMZ Sports recently shared police video documenting Jeff's arrest. In it, Jeff mentions doing double shots of Fireball, a 66-proof liquor, before he drove. Hardy can also be heard saying that he was going to a doctor's visit concerning a brain scan. Did Jeff Hardy have a driver's license? You may be surprised to learn that Jeff Hardy was allegedly using his North Carolina driver's license, despite it being suspended. Fightful Select reports that Hardy apparently used the suspended license in order to rent cars and that this apparently posed no problem for Hardy when he rented cars out of North Carolina. The idea that someone with a suspended license can rent cars may seem bizarre, but there are a number of loopholes in the DUI laws that allow people with suspended or revoked licenses to still drive. Hardy's Sad Statement As disturbing as the police video of Jeff's arrest was, there was another upsetting video that's appeared online. Ringside News' Michael Perry is reporting, A new video posted to Reddit shows Hardy drinking whiskey as he performed at a wrestling convention the night before his arrest. Hardy was performing a music set for fans. As he told the crowd about the importance of music as a uniting force, he took a huge swig of what he said was whiskey. Jeff then met a very ominous statement, Whiskey is my best friend and my worst enemy. Even Jeff Hardy seems to understand his problem with alcohol, but can he find the path to overcoming it? Jeff still advertised for upcoming show. While Jeff Hardy is suspended from AEW, wrestling promotion AAA still has Jeff listed on advertisements for its upcoming Triple Mania 30 show in Tijuana, Mexico. Ringside News' Michael Perry is reporting that the promotion is still advertising Jeff Hardy over 24 hours after his arrest. Jeff and Matt Hardy were scheduled for a main event match against Dragon Lee and Drillistico, 
Perry added that, AAA has been reportedly looking for a new tag team partner for Matt Hardy. It is incredibly unlikely that Jeff Hardy will be allowed to go to Mexico, let alone compete. As of now, AAA still has not made a statement regarding the matter on social media. Hardy may be unable to leave the country due to being out on bond in order to guarantee that he'll appear at his next court date. Do you think Jeff Hardy will wrestle at Triple Mania 30? AEW star not expected back. In other AEW news, former NXT superstar Jake Atlas's time in AEW appears to be over. You may recall that Atlas began working in AEW last December and was believed to have been signed by the company. Atlas was injured early on in his AEW run, but expected back. However, Fightful's Sean Ross Sapp is reporting, Despite having received an all-elite graphic generally reserved for full-time signings, we've heard from multiple AEW sources that claim Jake Atlas was on a per-appearance deal. When he was injured, that deal was paused and Atlas was no longer officially tied to the company. Sapp also reminded fans of a recent incident that may have played a role in AEW's decision. In May, Atlas was arrested for domestic violence against his boyfriend after scratching him. Fightful reached out to AEW for comment in May, but didn't hear back. Whether or not Atlas's arrest influenced AEW's decision is unknown. What do you think? Has WWE given up on Raw Star? Has the WWE given up on current Raw superstar Ciampa? Ciampa, who enjoyed tremendous success in NXT as a two-time NXT champion and NXT tag team champion, seemed to get off to a decent start when he was promoted to the main roster. Ciampa turned heel after joining Raw earlier this year, and there were rumors he was in line to be a member of the Judgment Day. However, Ciampa's recent performances, particularly his loss to Riddle on the 13th June edition of Raw, have some fans questioning whether he's become the latest NXT star to fall by the wayside. One of the arguments being made is that Ciampa was a Triple H guy, which could have Vince McMahon questioning Ciampa's value to the company. Although it's often difficult to pinpoint why a wrestler is being jobbed, it's worth mentioning that Ciampa is 37 and he reportedly had to dye his hair to get rid of the gray coming in. Vince McMahon, who generally looks for younger stars to push, with obvious exceptions for established main eventers like Edge and Randy Orton, may feel Ciampa's best days are behind him. The WWE's decision to shorten Ciampa's name from Tommaso Ciampa to Ciampa, along with changing his ring entrance, are further signs the WWE isn't sure what to do with him. Although Ciampa hasn't done well recently, things could quickly turn around, especially if he was put into the Judgment Day. Based on the heel faction's promo on the 13th June Raw, the group doesn't have the same gravitas as it did when Edge was leading it. Whether Ciampa could help it in the promo department is unknown. Natalia refutes Ronda Rousey's remarks about women's locker room. Natalia is calling out Ronda Rousey after the current SmackDown Women's Champion described the great morale in the women's locker room. Rowdy Ronda recently chatted with Kurt Angle about the differences between a wrestling locker room and one in judo or MMA. Heyman was telling me if there was like a pit bull in the room and you don't know about this dog, you know? You don't know this dog and it could probably kill you, you're not going to do anything crazy while the pit bull is in the room. You're going to wait until the pit bull leaves the room and then you get crazy. Rousey insinuated that if any shenanigans happened, they occurred while she was gone, adding, So as far as I know, it's just sunshine and lollipops in the locker room. It's a bunch of cupcakes and hand jobs. Everyone's having a great time. Natalia, who is the current number one contender for Rousey's women's title, seems to disagree. The Queen of Hearts tweeted, This is Bob. Funny that Ms. Rousey describes the women's locker room as cupcakes and other things. Ronda wouldn't know the first thing about the locker room as she never leaves her private bus. But if she did, she'd actually see that everyone in there secretly hate each other. While there's likely some tension in the locker room, it's even more likely that Natalia is healing things up as she continues her program with Rousey, a program that heated up on last Friday night's SmackDown when Natalia ambushed Rousey after a match, kayfabe injuring her. What do you think of each superstar's comments? Sasha Banks' new look after surgery? Last but not least, Sasha Banks is a changed woman following recent surgery. The boss recently had photorefractive keratectomy, aka PRK, to correct her vision. PRK is an alternative to LASIK surgery. Sasha's doctors posted photos and videos of Banks undergoing the procedure, and Banks can be seen with a new hairstyle. What do you think of Sasha's new hairstyle? Well guys, there you have it, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time for some more wrestling content.